would you suggest, uh, would, you dis would you discuss, says Dr. Ruth, would you discuss masturbation, masturb uh, masturbation uh, in older women and vibrators? I won't say it to you who asked that question. I love Bravo, stand up. Everybody applaud. I want to tell you why. Even I, coming from Frankfurt am Main, old-fashioned, square, even I say to myself, my gosh, we are going to talk to women. That's the book, right? Older people. We're going to talk about menopause. We're going to talk about perimenopause. You have some wonderful questions already. But you, bravo, because I don't have to blush, because you already gave me the first question. The first question, and there are some other very interesting questions like that, but this question is, Look, we, we are not used to talk about masturbation. Even I used to blush, not at the 92nd Street Y, in other places, when I talked about that. But there is no question that loud and clear, everybody who doesn't have a partner, or whose partner is maybe incapacitated right now, any woman, I can look at women, and I can know if she brings herself to orgasms or not. I can see that. When I walk around the world, I can see that. I will never ask, do you? I will never ask, do you? But I'm saying, not easy for us because that's not how we grew up. We grew up with the uh, interdiction by saying, a good girl doesn't touch down there, right? And to a boy, they used to say, do you have to urinate? As if their penis was created only for urination. So I really thank you and I'm going to tell you, everybody who feels like it, if somebody says, I don't feel like it, I say, so do something else, knit a sweater for somebody, do something for the group. I see that you are knitting here, I saw those things, that you are selling. 